Hi, this is Otto Roopsman, and you're in the place for athletic super achievement. In today's installment of The Winner's Mindset, we're going to talk about what it really takes to be a superstar. And every single superstar across the board, they're running on autopilot. What do I mean by that? Well, part of the winner's mindset is that you do something so well, you do one move so well that nobody can touch you. For example, Akeem Olajuwon, he had the, he had the, the, the shimmy shimmy shake hook that nobody could defend because he had done it thousands of times. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, he had the sky hook. He would fly through the air with the sky hook and, and just come out and, and flip it up and it'd go in because he had practiced it thousands of times. Michael Jordan, you know, when he came back from retirement the first time, he came back with the fadeaway. And it was the fadeaway that won him another three championships. That fadeaway, you know, every great player, after every season, every off season, they come back in the new season with one new move. One move that you've practiced a thousand times or more. Because when you practice something, perfect practice makes perfect in the game. The more you practice it perfectly, first practice it slow and then move it forward faster and then faster until it's just so automatic that you can, you can completely fake a guy out and do the same move a thousand times more right in a row. From having locked it in, from having done that one move so many times that ain't nobody going to stop you even when they know it's coming. You know, uh, Steve Smith, he played for the Atlanta Falcons for a, a number of years. Uh, not, not the Atlanta Falcons, excuse me. Um, the uh, the uh, Atlanta Hawks. And he played for the Hawks for a number of years back in the 90s. And this is a guy who, he had a, a half spin move that he would you know, kind of half spin and then come back around. And that guy, he freaking schooled people with it even when they knew it was coming because he could, if they didn't bite on it, he could completely spin on them and put the ball in the hoop. So having one move that you perfect with perfect practice, making it perfect so that you're not doing it consciously, so it's just an unconscious, it's locked into your unconscious competence where you just unconsciously do it. You're bam, you, you do it and you do it and you do it. With Jordan, it was the fadeaway. He was so unconsciously competent with the fadeaway that you could put him on anywhere in the court. He could fade away and knock down the, 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 the hoop because he had practiced it over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Practice and practice and practice it. So making it success automatic. Being a winner and part of the winner's mindset is having this just unconscious confidence locked in to your subconscious where you've got one move at least if not more, but at least one move that you can do every single time and it always results in the outcome you're looking for, which is points. Putting points up on the board because you get so good at it, nobody can stop it. So pick one move today that you're going to focus on improving and take it and focus on that and practice that one move 50 times a day until you've gotten it at least a thousand repetitions of that one move in. If you do that one move 50 times a day until you've gotten it to a thousand times, you're gonna get so good at that one move that nobody will be able to stop you with it. It comes down to practice though. You gotta put at least a thousand times of one move into your mindset, into your movement, into how you move so it becomes ingrained in your muscle memory. And that, my friend, is being a winner. Doing something until it's so boring, so pathetically, annoyingly boring that it just happens automatically, just like brushing your teeth, like ah, it's locked in so that you can do it 3 a.m. Someone wakes you up from a, a dead sleep, you can do that same move and take it into your game to score more points.
That's part of being a playmaker. That's really creating it so it's automatic, so it just happens with so much ease. And then when you're in game time, you don't even think about it. You just think, blow by this guy and make some points on the board. Make it a great day.